Ah, another beautiful piece of art. Oh, do you think that this is a photo? Well, you're wrong, man. This is in fact a painting, but it looks so real. Let me introduce you to the world of photorealism. It's a genre of painting that started in the United States during the late 1960s and early 1970s. It evolved from pop art and was also as a reaction to abstract expressionism and minimalism. The two leading artists who helped define photorealism at the time were Richard Estes and Chuck Close. Estes specialized in photorealistic paintings of street scenes while Close was famous for his paintings of large portraits of usually expressionless faces. Photorealistic paintings are very simple. Basically, the artist would take a photo and copy every bit of it on another surface. Most of the time, the photos weren't even very exciting ones, just bland, everyday life kinds of photographs traced again using paint. Now, as I was working on this video, I started to question myself. Why would anybody spend months copying a photograph that's already there? I mean, the artist does nothing to add to the painting or give any meanings to it. I mean, sure, they require a lot of patience and technical skill, but none of those paintings seem to ever touch me emotionally. So I was exploring the web for an answer, and well, I found one that vaguely made any sense. It was by about.com user Starpoint. He or she said, Photorealistic paintings are more real than that of photo. Photos, as good as they are, have a certain flatness, a shallow depth of field, and lack of detail that the photorealistic paintings do not have. In most cases, they are more real than real. Added depth and understanding of the nature being studied is shown. Often there are layers and layers of information in these paintings, and each artist has his or her own version of what is real and what is imagined. At first, this didn't make much sense to me, so I just closed my eyes and thought deeply, and when it hit me, that was when I really appreciated this type of art. Living as a young person in a large city, life can be very busy. Heck. Life can be busy and difficult for anybody, if not everybody on this planet. Though we may not notice it, photos take a large portion of our lives. Everywhere we go, on advertisements, on TV, on the internet, we see photos, photos, photos. Photos of cats, photos of buildings, photos of life. A single photo holds many words, a story. Everything is captured, every little bit even the last memories of the ones we truly loved. But the photographs, the snapshots of our lives, are merely just a flat image on a piece of paper. There is no depth, there is nothing much to explore really. But the paintings were done by a person who feels emotions, who poured their emotions and effort into recreating that one moment in their life. With every stroke of their paintbrush, they are talking to us. We may not be able to see it from a distance, but the painting whispers into our ears, you know. When the photo is taken, how and why. Though I may be the minority for now, I hope that everybody can understand and really feel the beauty of the majestic works of photorealism. Thank you.